Good morning. This morning's verse is John 10, 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. What a great verse to look at the day after Easter, the day after Christ has arisen, the day after everything in life at the time as we knew it changed. We're talking about the good shepherd. We're talking about Jesus as the shepherd. He looks after all of the people as God, as the shepherd. Jesus was here to teach. He was here to save. God provides. God looks out for each and every one of us. Now this day is going to be a little bit different because I want to focus mainly on, mainly on the men in the house. Nothing against the women. You all are doing a great job. Men, where are you? I look around at the world today and I see so many guys that are so focused on themselves. Look at the look at the athletes we see, the celebrities we see. There's so many people saying all about me, look all about me. But let's look at the role of the man. Let's look all the way back. The guys in my Tuesday morning group are going to love this. Let's look all the way back in the garden. God created Adam, then he created Eve. He created Adam to lead. He created Adam as the spiritual leader. We're going through a Bible study with a group of men right now. It's called Be a Godly Man by Joby Martin. And Joby points out in the very first, the very first session that men are created to be provider, protector, prophet, priest, and servant king. So a man's role in the family is provider, protector. Those are the first two things. Take care of your flock. That's what this is talking about. And it is amazing to me that yet in so many ways we miss it in the world today. The men of today, so many of you are, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of great godly men out there, but so many men are lost looking for self. They're looking for fulfillment of self. And we stop and look at the Bible verse that says, be a man. What does it take to be a man? Yes, Joby, I am quoting you right now. Love, do all things in God's love. And the first two definitions are love. Love or patient, love is kind. So how much are we doing of that today? How much are we being patient with our family, patient with our children? How much are we being kind? I probably do better on the kind. Actually, according to my children, I do better on the kindness than I do on the patience. And that's a weakness that I need to look at. But looking back over my life, my story, where have I fallen down? I know that I was not the man I was supposed to be 10 years ago. 15 years ago, 20 years ago, when I was a child, I actually knew, no, when I was a child, I had an innocence, but granted, I had less responsibility. So I had a stronger belief, and as life started to beat on me, and I started to let the world in, that's when I got lost. That's when I became my own 100 sheep. That's when my story started, when I went the wrong way. And only through God's grace, only through Jesus, did I find my way back. It took my world falling apart. And make no mistake, parts of my world are still falling apart today. But nonetheless, I now am beginning to know, at almost 52 years old, I'm beginning to know who I am, who God created me to be. He created me to be a shepherd. He created me to suffer in his name, to suffer in the name of love for my family, to be provider, protector, as best I can be prophet and priest and be servant king, not king, not step in and put my feet back and say, hey, everybody serve me, but to serve the way Jesus served. So men, let's get up, let's go out, let's be provider protector. If we're no longer in our family anymore, if we have had that break and 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 had that divorce from that from from your family situation whether it was actually a, a divorce divorce or whether you have just split with the mother of your children you still have a responsibility you still are meant to be provider and protector for those children and even more importantly and you are meant to lead them to God lead them through Jesus to God so let Jesus show in your life Work on being a little less like you, like I'm trying to be a little less like me. And let's work on being a little more like Jesus. Why? So that we can go out and we can do in God's name, in love, what this verse speaks about. John 10, 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Let's lay down our lives for our family because the change happens from the inside out. Like God started working on our inside Worldly change happens inside our family. And men, it starts with us. Father God, thank you so much for being the good shepherd that you are, for being the good, good father that you are. 
Lord, you've allowed us to make mistakes, to see the consequences and to feel the consequences of those mistakes such that we learn your lesson. And we learn through our trials that your ways are better than our ways, that you know more. You clearly have all wisdom and we have none. We can do nothing without you. And yet for some reason, Lord, in our stubborn stiff-neckedness, we try to do it our own way. Lord, it doesn't work out. So please let us hear your voice. Let us spend some time on our knees getting reacquainted with you. The day after your son has arisen, the day after you gave us the promise of a future and forgiveness that we did not deserve. Lord, let us get down on our knees and reacquaint ourselves with you. Not just sit and let you be acquainted with us, but Lord, let us know you. Let us drop all of our worldly junk leave our garbage and our baggage at the door and spend some time with you, fulfilling us, rebuilding us, completing us, refining us, transforming us, Lord, into the men that you want us to be, into the women that you want us to be, into the fathers, the mothers, the aunts, the uncles. Lord, lead us to be your people, your way, so we are ready for your time. Father God, thank you. We love you. In your son Jesus' name, amen. Oh, I have days I lose the fight. Try my best, but just don't get it right. When I talk a talk that I don't want right before my eyes Somebody with a hurt that I could have helped Somebody with a hand I could have helped When I just can't see past myself Oh, help me be A little more like mercy A little more like grace A little more like kindness Goodness Love and faith A little more like patience a little more like peace, a little more like Jesus, a little less like me. Have a great day, men, women. Go out and be men and women of God's caliber. Do God's work. Stop and work on being less like ourselves and be the shepherd that he called us to be. Go help share the word of his rising because yesterday, a long, long time ago, he rose for you and me. So let's step up so we can be sure that everybody knows this from now going forward. In God's name, I bless you. Have a fantastic, fantastic day. We'll see you soon.